Did I once read that you said that you were just an angry person by nature and that that's what drove most of your choices? Well, I'm afraid that's rather true. Is it still true? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I am angry. I'm angry at, at people not doing the right thing. I'm angry at the fact that one takes advantage of others to their harm. Uh, I'm angry at intolerance. I'm angry at inequality. I'm angry at women being treated as lesser human beings. Um, Which happens. Yeah, we well. can go on and on here, you know? Well, that's, that's a good anger to have, right? Well, what do you think that, I mean, there's a backbencher in Canada who recently brought it up that they wanted to explore the idea of when a fetus becomes a life, and I know that with the Republican race going on, that that conversation, mm. and you know, next year is going to be the, the anniversary of Roe versus Wade. Well, so as we'll an American citizen visiting Canada, thank you very much, uh, I have been chairman of the Board of Advocates for Planned Parenthood for about 18 years. And to me, any, any refusal to allow a woman to choose whatever decision she may make, whatever my opinion or anyone else's, to say you may not have choice is uh, intolerable. And I am hoping very, very much that given our American primaries, the Republican primaries that have been, that have now ended essentially, you know, with, with um, the emergence of, of Romney as, as a top candidate. But what was said and, and the attacks on women and on women's health that was uh, allowed and even encouraged during the primary season, I am desperately hoping we will keep women aware of until the election because you know perfectly well that you know by August the Republican Party is going to be saying, oh no, we love women.